first left. <laughs> right, Shaz, we're off to Malton we're the off. Marsh. We're off in the Malton Marsh. What did we think of this site? Oh, it was there, yeah, we were very nice. I don't think I'd rush on back. Nothing, it's nothing no, roundabouts, no. you're miles away from anything. The views, supermarket's terrible. Yeah, the view's really nice, but you're just miles and miles away from anything. Uh, yes, if you're just coming for a relaxing holiday and you want some stunning views, then this is the place. If you want to be going out, out and about, seeing things, you could do better down here. But that's just our opinion. Uh, we'll catch up with you at Morton the Marsh. We picked the journey up Where here up, where Mrs. Satnag decided she'd had enough of riding on nice wide roads such as motorways and nice A roads and she wanted to take us down some narrow roads. So here we go down some narrow roads. Need, um, Turn right onto Horsefair Street. Yeah, two cars went through lights on red then because they were turning to red as I started turning. Well, because they were stuck behind me. So Turn me, right so onto Copt L Road, then take the first left. Turn left onto Church Street. In four and a half miles, turn left onto A436. I'm going to take it very easy here because we've got inches to pass that car due to the car coming towards us. about the road being in, uh, road, some, some road being shown to be recalculating.
obviously sat there and get that out for them. She put us back on a proper air road.
the roundabout, take the first exit to Port Road. Arriving at Moreton Inn Marsh on the right. Moreton Inn Marsh. He's arriving at Moreton Inn the Marsh. <laughs> She says, right, she says, the loogie that the number is. <laughs> she says, look, first, first for all my list is your name, but your registration number, so. One or two toilet blocks. Uh, I do know. Oh, it's a set tie on it, toilet block. Toilet block, there's two toilet blocks. Yeah. Right, we arrived at Morton the Marsh, Morton in the Marsh. Uh, been a long day, like a five hour drive, that included a half hour stop and a ten minute hold up on the M5. Don't know what had happened on there. A car had managed to leave the motorway, go up the embankment, and he was a good 20 feet up the embankment, facing up the embankment in all the trees. 
the hits into any damage on the car and you probably expected it to be something like a sports, some kind of sports car like a Lotus or something like that. No, Ford Cougar. So I haven't a clue how he got up there. But, uh, so that held us up for about 10-15 minutes. Uh, and we finally arrived, we've got set up, we've just really done a bit of shopping at local Tesco Express. I'll have a look around tomorrow, probably have a drive around the site because it's a big site. And uh, we'll let you see what it's like. Anything to say, Shaz? Yeah. I think that face said it all. We're tired and we just want to get some rest. Tesco Express is a nightmare. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Sharon says Tesco Express is a nightmare, so there is an Aldi as well. Uh, we just went to the locals at Tesco Express, so. I know. Will you get your head out at bridge? <sighs> right. If you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done already, subscribe. And if you do subscribe, uh, please hit the notification icon. That way you get notified next time we put a video out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Shaz, what are you doing out there? Trying to get dog's head out at bridge. Oh, say bye then. <laughs> say bye. Bye. <laughs>